Okay, tax. Do you tax. support a progressive tax system? Sure do. Uh, should the rich pay more? More than what? More than they are. Well, that, uh, that is uh, probably a fair thing, given that they've had massive tax cuts in the last four years. And you would stand by capital gains tax? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you are, are clearly, I guess, from what you've outlined here, you're clearly traditional Labour. Well, depends you know, you, what you mean by well, traditional Labour. Well, you've talked a lot about um, their values. Bigger role for the government. Progressive tax. Yeah, and a partnership with um, business uh, in the community. A greater level of regulation. Where it's appropriate. Have I summed that up correctly, though? You would be traditional yeah, I, I, No, I don't like the word traditional as such, because, uh, you know, coming back from the Scandinavians, I'm enthused about new opportunities, new ways of achieving traditional labour values. Uh, I wouldn't want to be painted as looking backwards. I want to look forward, and I believe our labour team wants to do that, and I have absolutely confident that uh, we as a team can do it, and I'm part of that broader team. Traditional labour, though, isn't necessarily looking backwards, though. It's just staying strong Tradition to your core values. Yeah, sure. Uh, how can you personally, how can you convince New Zealand then that these ideas that you've brought back from Scandinavia, how can you convince them that they are the right ideas for the country? Because I believe that they will put um, money in the back pocket of uh, Joe Average out in Ekatahuna or the solo mum struggling to uh, raise her kids in the back parts of my electorate. And look, this isn't about me, it's not even about us, the politicians. It's about us, the country, and making a better life for our kids, because at the moment we're just losing so many of them. And what gets me up in the morning and what gets my Labour colleagues going, and why we are still in this crazy game, is that we refuse to give up on New Zealand's future. We refuse to join the queue at the departure gate. We believe in this country and we're saying New Zealand is not getting a good enough deal from the current government. On the Standard blog at the moment, there is a, is a pretty clear debate, Mr Cunliffe, between Labour's pragmatists and traditionalists. Where do you sit in that oh, debate? Well, look, um, I think it was Winston Churchill who said... Uh, Democracy is the worst of all forms of government except all the others, or words to that effect. Um, you know, I'm proud of the fact that we have a democratic tradition in our party, and, and that means that passionate people will engage in policy debate, and sometimes they will do it in public. Um, I'm not going to be pigeonholed. Uh, I do care about traditional labour values, but I also know that we live in a modern world and we're going to have to find new ways of applying that, and above all, I'm a team player and I'm part of a caucus that is determined to make New Zealand better and I support our leadership team that is doing that. Is it reasonable to conclude though that um, David Shearer and you would share a different view for the no, future of the party? No, I think we share exactly the same values. Uh, he is my leader, he has my support and we're part of a team. He's more of a pragmatist though. I don't think those labels are helpful. I don't think they're helpful. No, they're not I mean, helpful, but they may be a reality. Well, look, um, I've just, before coming on this program, uh, reread a speech uh, that he gave about the heartland, about our regions, and there is nothing in that speech that I disagree with. He's talking about new partnerships with regions and sectors to get growth going, and why are we doing that? Because we want to make life better for New Zealanders. We want to give them a little bit of relief from the pressures that they're under. God knows it's hard to make ends meet. And we are passionate about the future of our country. We are a team. I'm proud to serve as his economic development spokesperson and he is my leader and I'm loyal to him and our caucus. How much support do you have within the caucus for these ideas that you've brought back with you from Scandinavia? Well, this is not about me. This no, is but about you've us. Got ideas and this that you is about want. absolutely, and I think they're very similar to David's ideas. I think David has been talking about the importance of innovation for some time, and I utterly share that drive. Uh, I'm very pleased that he's entrusted with me uh, the the mandate for developing the clean, green, and clever stuff, the clean tech mandate, uh, and that's also something I'm really passionate about. So, you know, I don't think there's a difference on that stuff at all. You think the caucus backs you on all, all these ideas that you've brought back with you? Well, we're still going through a policy development process, and uh, I'm not announcing Labour policy today. You're asking me what impressions I gained from Scandinavia, and I'm being upfront. I think that they are fantastic about innovation. They are fantastic about government and business and community partnerships. They take a long view. They have measurable targets. And unlike the current government, they have policies that they know will get them there. They don't just print glossy brochures and hope it's all going to go away. You have been grabbing a, a number of headlines of late. Uh, if the leadership did come up, did come up on offer again in future, 
would you put your name back in the hat? Look, I have uh, made clear on a number of occasions that I am loyal to my leader, I'm loyal to the leader of the Labor Party, uh, and I can't see that changing. if the leader wants to go? I can't see that changing, and if the presumption is that we're not going to succeed in the polls, I reject the presumption. We're going to work together as a team, not for ourselves, but for the people out there who need hope, who don't want to queue up at the departure gate, who do want New Zealand to be a place where their smart kids can get good jobs and put down roots and raise a family. Those are things that we all in the Labour caucus believe at, and I am fighting for that cause alongside colleagues that I like and respect. David Carnoff, we have to leave it there. Labour MP, thank you very much. Very much appreciate your analysis thank you. this morning.